Sam. Also today, uh, Shannon Mayor Kevin Johnson. He was on the radio with Grant Napier. Grant, at this point in time today, was actually guest hosting for Jim Rome on a national basis on his radio show. Of course, on Friday, NBA Commissioner David Stern came out and said, and it surprised a lot of people, the Sacramento bid for the Kings is just too low. And that was a big topic today. Here's a clip from the, uh, from the radio show today. I feel like our ownership group is well positioned. This is part of the process. So there'll be a lot of negotiating, I'm sure, going on between now and then. Uh, Seattle set a really high bar. We know what that, that number is, and I feel our, our ownership group has the financial capability and wherewithal to do what it takes to, uh, to keep the team in Sacramento. Now, we still don't know what the numbers are from the Sacramento group. The Seattle group reportedly has offered to pay $525 million to buy 65% share of the team. Now, financial terms of the Mark Mastroff Ron Burkle deal have not been made public. According to Stern, this Sacramento offer is well below. The Seattle offer. Here's another clip from the Napier interview with Johnson. Seattle had a team and they lost their team for reasons. And Sacramento is doing everything that it would take to keep the team for the very reasons that Seattle lost the team. So that's number one. Secondly, when you think about Sacramento, we're a one-team market. And we epitomize what a one-team market is, should be, and is capable of. They clearly have a different view of this in Seattle. Today, the investor leading the Seattle group, Chris Hansen, asked Sonics fans to sign up for a priority ticket wait list. It will go live on Thursday, and according to a statement, it will give him the chance to understand and prioritize the demand for tickets, saying it will show the NBA that Seattle wants the team back. want to take a moment here and go through some of the key dates that we've written down here. First of all, March 23rd right here. More discussion about an arena deal on March 23rd. With regards to March 24th, this is the date that we're going to have another Here We Buy session at uh, Sleep Train Arena. That's, of course, the local group trying to show the NBA that there's a lot of fan support here for the team. March 26th is really a key date. This is the date in which the term sheet, which is submitted on the 23rd, will be discussed publicly by the city council, and that has to do with the arena. We'll learn more details about the arena deal on March 26th. April 3rd is the next big date. This is a key date that we've outlined in terms of where the investments go. There's a big meeting in New York City with some of the key players in the NBA to have further discussions about what the two plans are from both Seattle and Sacramento. Next big day between this date, the 17th and the 19th. These are all very key dates. The final home game at Sleep Train Arena, then the 18th and 19th in New York City. We are going to have big meetings with the committee, and presumably, Shannon, the uh, decision could be made as early as the 19th or very soon thereafter as to whether or not the Kings stay in Sacramento or they head off to Seattle. So many groups putting in long hours and so much hangs in the balance, really, Sam. Okay, thank you.